Good morning or good afternoon, whenever you're viewing this. Sorry I can't be there today. I will be away for the next week at some Macintosh training where I learn both the software and the hardware in order to fix your computers. Uh, while I'm gone though, you guys will be working on a project. And the project you'll be working on is you're going to be modeling meiosis. So the very first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be filling out this sheet of paper right here. It's upside down. You're going to be doing this sheet of paper right here. Yes, I know it's all in reverse. I cannot help that. But anyways, on this sheet of paper right here, you are going to be using colored pencils to draw in the different chromosomes in the different phases that they are in. Now, you will be using three pair of homologous chromosomes or six total chromosomes because this is going to be a diploid cell as it goes to a haploid cell. So diploid over here, haploid over here. It's going to take its chromosomes, it's going to divide them by two and have half the number of chromosomes in your haploid cell. Makes a lot of sense, hopefully. So, in order to do that, you'll fill this piece of paper out first. You will also need to add one step in here because notice how it's missing something. Not going to tell you what step it is, but it is missing a step in there. It should be pretty obvious at this point. Okay, so anyways, you will be doing the stop motion animation project much like you did in the past with the yarn with mitosis. However, this is a little bit different. A, first of all, it's meiosis. And then second of all, it is a summative grade, so it has a little bit more credit attached to it than the last one. So that being said, the stakes are a little bit higher. When you do this, you are going to be using yarn, and you are going to be using white yarn for the outline of your cell. You're also going to be using photo booth, much like you did last time, and you're going to try and get it set up. And once you get it set up, you want to keep your computer in the same exact place because the animation will look a little bit better. Also, the more pictures that you take, the better the animation will be. Anyways, this is the outside of your cell right here. <clears throat> you are also going to have three pair of homologous chromosomes, or six total chromosomes. Now, in talking about chromosomes with meiosis, we are going to be starting after interphase, just like the drawings that you guys did in the class. So you're going to be starting after interphase where your DNA duplication has already happened. Now this is a diploid cell, so we're going to show it in its diploid state after interphase. This right here, that's chromosome 1. And that's the chromosome 1 from your mom. This right here is also chromosome 1. That's chromosome 1 from your dad. Now DNA duplication has already happened. So since that DNA duplication has already happened, we need to show that the DNA duplication has already happened. So DNA duplication has already happened, and DNA duplication has already happened. Right there, that right there is one pair of homologous chromosomes. Chromosome 1, one from your dad, one from your mom. Okay, let's also show chromosome 2. Chromosome 2 is going to be right here, and that's from your mom or your dad. doesn't make a difference. This is also chromosome 2. That's from your, let's say this is from your dad, this is from your mom. So we have those two pairs of homologous chromosomes right there, both chromosome 2, but since this is after interface, we have DNA duplication. So DNA duplication right there, and let's show the DNA duplication. When we have these four chromosomes together, that is called a tetrad because there are four sister chromatids together. Remember, these are homologous chromosome 1, this is homologous chromosome 2. Well, let's show chromosome 3. And it is just occurring to me to, that I do not have a sixth color on me. And I'm not going to stop this, but I'm going to keep going. We're going to pretend this is a different color than any of the colors listed so far. So right now, we are going to have our chromosome 3 from our dad and chromosome 3 from our mom. And since this is after interphase, we have the DNA duplication and we have the DNA duplication. So we have one tetrad, two tetrad, three tetrads. So this is how you're going to be doing it. You're going to make sure that you have at least six different colors. Uh, your best bet is also to kind of keep your chromosomes somewhat together. You're going to follow the steps that you have outlined in this right here, and you're going to take a whole bunch of pictures. I also recommend making your spindle fibers out of white yarn. So make your spindle fibers out of white yarn. You are going to be going from one cell in meiosis 1 to two cells in meiosis 2. Those are going to be happening side by side with each other, so make sure you're being very careful with that. And then those two cells are going to be turning into four cells. So you, it's going to be kind of hard to keep all this pretty organized once you get going, especially because you're going to be have to moving a lot of different things all at once. So this is be really nice to be working with a partner. 
Also, you need to make sure that you show crossing over. Crossing over is one of the most significant and important events of meiosis. That's what gives us all this wonderful genetic diversity. That's what makes you not look like the person sitting next to you. So make sure you show crossing over. You can do that with scissors. They work really well. They cut. So show crossing over with the scissors right here and keep everything all together. Now, one quick note here is fifth hour is going to be having some issues with this. You guys may or may not recall that our pictures were out of order last time we did this. The reason that is is because it's a computer glitch. It's not really a computer glitch, but it's just the way the computers work. And the second the clock strikes one o'clock on your computer, all of those photos are after the 12.59 p.m. all of those photos that are now one o'clock are gonna come before the photos that are at 1259. I have not quite come up with a solution for this but you need to realize that when you dump them into your iMovie to make the rest of your project the photos that are taken after 1 p.m will be out of order from the photos that were taken before 1 p.m. on any given day you are working on this. That's just computers and you have to deal with it. So good luck. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, this is a summative grade. Oh, finally, the last question I'm sure you guys all have been wondering, who's going to be in your group? Well, you can pick your partner and there are groups of two. This will be interesting to see how this goes. You have the choice to work alone if you feel that you prefer to work alone. So you can pick your partner if you want a partner. If you don't want a partner, work alone and get it done. So you're going to need one big white yarn on the outline. You're going to need some white yarn for spindle fibers. And you're also going to need some different colors for your chromosomes. For your centrioles, use beans. I have those in the bag. And then finally, um, oh, oh, Ziploc bags. I'll have Ziploc bags provided so you can store all your materials in Ziploc bags. So good luck and email me if you have any questions. Bye.